Hey guys, welcome back. This is our tip of the week. Uh, listen, this is probably one of my favorite things to talk about because I get this comment a lot in some of my classes. Like they'll ask me, what's the timing of that move or what's the rhythm of that move? And then I'll ask them, what are you asking me? Because they don't always, they're not always clear on what they mean when they say that. So I'm going to try and clear that up for you. There's a difference, a huge difference between timing and rhythm. Timing is the essential beat of the music. That's the one, two, the metronomic sound. One, two, three, four. And you're dancing one, two, three, and four five and six if you're doing a West Coast swing pattern like a sugar push. The rhythm is not always the same as the actual timing even though it's danced within the timing. But it's very important to make sure you understand that. Sometimes your rhythm has a different melody to it. It's like a one and a two and three and a four, five, six, one and a two and a three and a four and a five and a six. It could be a lot of different rhythms. So you have to be able to emulate that action through your body or through your feet. So an example of that, if we take a sugar push, we do it at a basic timing would be one, two, one, two, one, two. So that's a straight timing with a little bit of a rhythm of its own to it. Now, that one and two isn't always what you hear in the music. Sometimes all you hear is one, two. So why are we doing one and two when it's going one, two? Well, that's the timing of the dance. So that's how that works. Also the rhythm of the dance. But now let's say the music has a bit more melody to it. It'd be a one and two, a one and a two, a one, two, one and two and one, two and one and two, one and two and one and two and one and two and one and two. So you can see all I'm doing is playing with her timing and she's matching my movement. I keep a little bit of tone in my hands so she can feel that I'm changing my rhythms a little bit and playing with that. But that's really a common question asks, what is the rhythm of that pattern? And when I answer it, they give me this look like, what? Because I'll say it's and a one and a two and a one and a two. <laughs> or a one and a two and three and four. I go up and down with it. It just depends on the intonation of the music. And also, too, it, we demonstrated how we could syncopate and speed it up. You can also slow it down and, and hold beats as well. Yeah, a lot of your music, if you listen to the actual melody or the song, you're going by vocals or you're going by rhythms, the vocal will have a long stretch to it. The, the person may be singing something that, that has one long note at the end that covers the 5th, 6th, and 7th, and 8th beat of the last of that 32 phrase. So in that case, you might want to stop your feet and fill out that action with a stretch. So you could be moving 1 and 2, 3 and 4 and 5, 6, 7, 8, then 1, 2, 3 and 4 and 5, 6, 7, 8. These are just stretches and I'm exaggerating them a bit right now so you see that. But you can do that, and it works great with the music. So it makes it easier for your partner, by the way, that when you do a movement or, or, or a syncopation or a reaction, that it is to the music. It's not something you thought of, it's something you felt from the music, and you responded to it. It makes it so much easier for your partner to catch that with you. And that's the whole business of partnering anyway. We want to let them know that's our conversation again, right? right. Anyway, so rhythm, timing. Know the difference when you're on the floor. We all have a pretty easy time with the timing. It's the rhythm that seems to catch a lot of us and get us in trouble when it comes to finding, you know, like I've seen a lot of people dance in Jack and Joe competitions and the timing is right on, but they have, you can tell when they're dancing, it looks like they're not dancing to the music. That's because they're not dancing to the rhythm. They're just dancing to the beat. Okay, so we want to get that rhythm down. So practice that and we'll see you again. Hey, don't forget guys, if you want to have us talk about something you'd like, just Facebook me or you can just uh, email me at uh, mkmstarlightdance.com go that way. That's, I've got a few different emails, but that's a good one you can use. Or you can just do a simple Facebook, and don't forget to like this, because that lets me know you're watching our tips. Alright? Thanks again. We'll see you.